friends, welcome back to our STEM Up class. Today we will be making homemade seismographs. So for those of you who don't know, a seismograph is an instrument that measures like the strength and patterns of earthquakes. So scientists use these to try and predict earthquakes and hopefully they'll be able to predict exactly when and where one's going to happen and then they can save lots of lives by telling people to get out before it comes. So the seismograph was actually invented in the second century, so a long, long time ago by a Chinese scientist uh, named Zheng Heng. And currently most seismographs are electronic, but today we're going to build a basic model of one. Um, so what you'll need is a cardboard box, some string, I just used some yarn, um, a plastic cup, a marker, a piece of paper, and something to weigh your um, cup down. I use paper clips or you can use some coin that you have around the um, coin that you have around the house or any kind of small weights and uh, some scissors to cut your box. So I started by cutting off all the flaps of my box to uh, just make the inside part and then cut some two little holes on each side of your cup and tie the string through each side and then cut two holes on top of your box and then I tied and taped down just to make sure that it stayed on there, taped my string through those holes. And then I cut two slits on each side of the box that you're going to feed your paper through because the seismograph works by um, the marker whenever the box moves and makes marks on the paper and in a regular seismograph it has a drum that moves the paper along so you need your paper to come out on either side. And so for this piece of paper I just used a normal sheet of copy paper and cut it into four strips and then taped it together. So You'll also need to put a hole in the bottom of your cup and stick the marker down in there and then put the weights on it to kind of weigh it down and get it to touch the paper. And then you can, you can adjust it as needed. And as you move your paper, it's going to go in basically a straight line if nothing's happening, but then if an earthquake happens, then it makes more lines on the page. And so scientists use those lines to determine how heavy the earthquake was. Theirs will work a little bit better to where it's more connected. My marker doesn't seem to be touching all the way, but play around with it and let us know how it does. And you can have a friend pull the, um, pull the paper while you shake the box really hard to make a really big earthquake and then just have fun with it and uh, post pictures in the comments of how it went. Thanks guys.